What's up? What's up? What's up? So, in the first time in history, as far as handguns, I stepped away from Taurus today. Don't know why am I whispering that, but <laughs> I stepped away from Taurus. <laughs> So, I got an email with a hell of a deal on a coupon, and I kind of couldn't pass it up. So, uh, from Dunham's, my favorite store, besides Top Gun, but um, your boy went and got something out of his element. So... This is what I got. I don't know if that looks backwards on the camera, but it's a Ruger. It's nothing special. It's nothing fancy. But it's, um, I was kind of looking for something that's um, smaller and more compact. And I, I thought I would, I, know I did make a video of talking about certain caliber guns. But anyway, I, I'm going to jump to it and, I, and I'll talk more about that in a minute. So, this is what I got. A little Ruger 380. I done stepped out of my comfort zone from Taurus, but with that one, but you know, they had a deal that I couldn't pass up, you know. I mean, this was stupidly cheap from Donald's. And man, he's like almost practically giving this shit away. But anyway, um, this is the Ruger LCP 380. And of course, it comes with a lock, which I'm about to take off. This is the Ruger LCP 380. Uh, don't ask me how to break this down because I don't know. But uh, we're going to talk about this when I was looking at, looking at this in the store. I noticed a few things. Now, this Ruger LCP 380. It's... um. It's kind of like a striker slash hammer fire back here. That's like a hammer, but it's cut off. You can see it goes back. I never seen a, a a gun like that before. So it's kind of it's a hammer fire gun, but you can't pull a hammer back. Yes, it is clear. Nothing in here. What I like about that is I can actually close this unlike my tour, unlike my tour spectrum. But yeah, it's a uh, hammer fire gun. But the hammer is like cut off. <laughs> See, that's the hammer back there that strikes the uh, pin. Um, it's a seventeen. I'm sorry, not 17. I wish. Um, it's a seven round, no, six round mag. Uh, with one in the head, one in the chamber, so that makes seven in total. But it's a six round mag. It only comes with one magazine. It's a little small mag. In a single stack. Now they did have um, another Ruger, and it was double stack, but that was a little bit pricey, and I wasn't gonna go for that. But this one, um, it comes with two plates. 
um, bottom plates. One is for a pinky extender, and one is for without the pinky extender. I don't know why that makes a difference because it's still, uh, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't even be able to grip that with these fingers. The pinky just, like, freely flowing. So let's compare that to my Spectrum. Oh, this is my Spectrum. And this is the LCP Ruger 380. It's quite, it's almost, the, the spectrum is a little bigger than it, but it's close. Alright. Okay, the mag just shoot out of there. Let's see how this, uh, Let's see how long the pull is on here. Oh, wow. Okay, no, no double strike. <laughs> yeah, okay, so it's got no double strike. Um, the sights is milled into the frame of the slide. <laughs> but, you know, it's a little, pretty much a pocket, another pocket gun, 380. I did do a video about that um, not too long ago, about um, 380 and a 9mm of uh, EDC carry. I still would prefer a 9. I mean, this, this makes good for a backup or a car gun. But I like this one because it's, it's, it's smaller than this one. And it weighs less than this. Take the mag out. Yeah. Let me, um. Uh... I need to do a test run to make sure it's feeding right because this is straight from uh, the store. I always like to make sure it's working right. That kind of hung up. Let's see. Let's try that again. It's three eighty. They finicky. Whew. Yeah, that grip, dog. Because it's so small. All right. I would say what I love about this, though. It's just, it's got the grip pattern on here. Here, you got this plasticky, I mean, I'm sorry, rubbery grip on here. Where it makes it hard. Like, my fingers are slipping. Just trying to do that here. Yeah, I like that. I like that. That is nice. Okay, it don't hold on open on the last round. Let's 
Let's test this out, though. No, I don't hold open on the last round. So, in the end, it is lighter than the, um, the Spectrum. Now, now, I'm not including this because this uh, laser is on here. This kind of was a little bit weighted and all, um, all the extra stuff I added. But, it just feels lighter. And I, and I remember the difference of how it felt before I added all this. This is definitely lighter. I don't have nothing to test this on. But this one definitely is lighter. Now, I did see... Um, the guy at Dunham's, he was showing me on Mag Warehouse that they actually, the mags on this is really cheap compared to the Spectrum mag. Now, the Spectrum's mags is up there in price. They're not cheap. And they're rare to come by. It's hard to find mags for these. This seems like they're overstocked with mags. And they like $22 for a 10-round mag. So, which I'm going to get. Now, don't ask me how to break this down. I don't, I know, I don't know. And I'm not even going to try it. But, yeah. Not yet. So, I will oil and lube this before I do eventually take it to the range. So, oh, stay tuned for that coming out. Uh, I'm going to try to drop that maybe Sunday or Monday. It'll probably be Monday because I'm going to the range. And um, a friend of mine, we, we were going to both shoot our 1911. So, um, I'm going to film at a range where I can actually film it in this day. So, y'all will have good quality, um, a good quality view of us shooting so it's the range where i'm kind of cool with these people so um oh yeah so it'll be uh my, me my boy and um a friend of ours who's uh a range instructor which i think is pretty cool which i need to take one of his uh his classes he's pretty badass um i'm on I'm going to tag his uh, videos in the description or down here below. But, yeah, um, pretty, pretty badass guy, you know. He's a vet, and he's about his business. So, yeah, so it's going to be me, a boy, and him going to the range together. So, um, yeah, so stay tuned to that, and you will see me shoot this Ruger. LCP 380 up there as well. So, so these are only two guns I'm shooting. <laughs> is the Ruger LCP and my my baby, my 1911 45 ACP. So stay tuned. For the review of the LCP range review and us shooting on both our 1911s.